Tethers Paolo Arduino cautions against fake airdrop emails amid crypto mailing list compromise. Hassan Shidu last updated, June 5, 2024 one to one EDT 2-minute read. An alarming report from Tether's CEO, Paolo Arduino, confirmed that a major vendor managing mailing lists for various crypto companies had been compromised. This breach has potentially exposed sensitive information, leading to fraudulent emails suggesting crypto airdrops. As multiple thought leaders have claimed, this breach poses a significant threat to security and trust within the crypto industry. Malicious actors may exploit the compromised data to deceive users and propagate scams. Tether CEO confirmed compromise of crypto companies' mailing list. Paolo Arduino, Tether's CEO, has stressed the matter, confirming that they have received two independent confirmations that a prominent vendor used by crypto companies to manage mailing lists might have been compromised. Arduino tweeted, We received now two independent confirmations that a prominent vendor used by crypto companies to manage mailing lists might have been compromised. He emphasized the importance of scrutinizing unsolicited emails, especially about crypto airdrops, and also advised against clicking links or downloading attachments from unfamiliar sources, especially suspected sources. Not making names yet until investigation is completed, but please beware of any emails suggesting crypto airdrops received since 24 ago. Further updates on the matter by Bobby Ong, company founder of CoinGecko, revealed that there is indeed an ongoing supply chain email breach attack affecting an email newsletter vendor. We at CoinGecko may be potentially affected and are actively working with our vendor to investigate further to determine the extent of this breach. We have seen phishing CoinGecko emails being sent from other client accounts. There is no CoinGecko token being planned, so don't be duped by the phishing emails. The cryptocurrency tracking site CoinGecko, one of the potentially affected entities, is actively collaborating with its vendor to investigate the extent of the breach. Arduino has also raised awareness of the likelihood of it being a targeted supply chain attack against crypto. Likely a supply chain attack towards crypto industry. The rise of targeted massive crypto attack. According to a recent report, fraudsters in South Korea are targeting Ethereum holders with a new scam. They are sending alarming text messages claiming that recipient CTH coins will be burned on May 22 if they do not act quickly. These messages, purportedly from a fake global exchange named Bitfinance, prompt users to click on phishing links to prevent their funds from being lost. The scam has gained attention within the crypto community, with users warning each other online and sharing screenshots of the fraudulent messages. South Korean police and regulators have noted a rise in cybercrimes related to virtual assets, with crypto-themed phishing scams becoming more common. The National Police Agency reported 167,688 cyber fraud cases last year, a 7. 68% increase from 2022, with virtual asset-related crimes accounting for 38.3%. Spotlighting the rise, the Canadian Anti-Fraud Centre CAC has also recently warned about the rise in cryptocurrency scams targeting Canadian citizens, particularly pig butchering, romance, and investment scams. These scams often involve prolonged online communication, where fraudsters pose as friends, romantic partners, or legitimate investment advisors. Victims are enticed into fake crypto investment schemes promising unrealistic returns. The CAC, in collaboration with the Canadian investment regulatory organization CIRO, urges citizens to report fraud incidents to help authorities track and combat these scams effectively. In 2023 alone, Canadians lost $309.4 million to investment frauds, with social media-related frauds accounting for $172 million. To address this, Canada plans to adopt the International Crypto Asset Reporting Framework, CARF by 2026, introducing new reporting requirements for crypto asset service providers. Follow us on Google News.